morning, good morning, good morning. Magandang umaga po. Good morning, Philippines. And good morning, Singapore. Uh, welcome sa programang Bawal Ang Pikon. Uh, alam mo na yan. Get it straight. Good morning. Yeah. 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 Of course, a special edition. We're here in Singapore together with Congressman Erin Tanyada who wants to be a senator. I don't know if it will happen in the future. That is I, uh, one thing I have promised him. I will be helping him out, but I am not going to pray for him to win. <laughs> Because if, he, because if he wins, he's going to leave my show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I did not. He'll be an ambassador. I will still be there. Will be there. <laughs> and uh, today, uh, special, just like what I have told you, we're doing a special edition of Get It Straight uh, from uh, Get It Straight with Daniel Razon. And uh, we have here a special guest with us. Uh, and uh, he is one of... Uh, the businessman here, a, a successful businessman here in in Singapore that uh, caters on uh, cars. Cars. Yes. Uh, yes. Cars. Cars. All right. Uh, so we have Mr. Gary Hong, the uh, owner of Autobahn Motor. Good morning. Welcome to Good the morning. show. Good morning. Thanks for the invite. Uh, that's uh, thank you, Mr. Erin nice. uh, Tanyada. All right, I'm quite surprised because we've been talking earlier on, Kong. Yes. Uh, we're talking about uh, his innovation. And uh, this guy is also very innovative. I was able to uh, relate to him also. The reason why I came up with this idea of putting up the wish bus mm -hmm. inside uh, the, 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 the FM station yes. inside the bus. Yeah. But now, he has this kind of vending machine are you familiar with vending machine yes the vending machine you put a coin and then you get you can get a drink yeah that's correct and, and here not only uh, drinks or other food that you can get or other junk foods that you can get at the airport you'll be able to see a vending machine that also has some electronic uh, gadgets inside it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but this one is different what, what, this what, one what is it different this one is a car vending machine wow how can a car <laughs> fit in a vending machine it's a big vending machine then <laughs> <laughs> so, so it must be a garage <laughs> yeah, yeah. it is oh, could you tell us more about this car vending machine of yours and uh, how did you uh, uh, come up with this kind of concept okay uh, basically the the i mean we are, we are in a car business for about 20 over years uh -huh. and we, we used to have a place that is in a town area of Singapore that is, is small so we, we, we squeeze in a lot of cars over there uh -huh. so it's, it's like a bucket list we say that hey we want to have a showroom of ourselves a uh, building of ourselves mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so very interestingly about a few years ago we went to acquire uh, some cars from a customers of mine who want to retire Okay. So we went there, we sit down and, and we chat about the price of buying over the car. And so these he, are pre-owned cars, you're saying? No, he, he owns it, but he's retiring and he wants to sell the car Selling. back to uh, us. Okay, so okay. we said, okay, what you want to do? I mean, after you sell the cars, what you want to do? He said, I want to retire mm -hmm. to go to uh, Mamuda, you know? Okay. So he showed me the plans that I built a nice house there. I'm going to relax. Yeah. Back. So right. we said, how about this uh, warehouse that you have? What is your plan? So he said, yeah, maybe in two, three years' time, I sell it, you know. Okay. So in a spur of moment, we're like, why don't you sell to us now? And we ran back to you because we love the place. And Singapore uh, lands are very scarce. Yes. To find the land, you know, <coughs> to have a sh proper showroom is very difficult. There's so, a scarcity of... <laughs> you are right. So, yeah. so the land was actually uh, uh, big enough for us. So we mm. said, okay, we'll buy it. So he said, are you sure? I said, yeah, we buy it. So he said, because we, he's our customers for over 20 years, over years. Okay. So he said, okay, let me think about the price and we'll do it. So they discuss and they say, okay, we'll give you a price. And we said, we take it. Mm -hmm. The next moment we ask our architect to do the plan. Yes. Mm -hmm. How many square meters are we talking about? Uh, yeah. We're talking about 800 square meters. So Very small. 800 yes. square, square meters. Yeah. And uh, you're planning to put up your showroom there. Exactly. Okay. And, and when my architect... And uh, you're talking about how many cars then? Initially, I was telling them I want about 50 cars. 50 cars yeah. that you will be putting in an 800 square, square meter which place. Is, which is after my architect do the compliance with the ingress of the roads and outroads to the basement car uh -huh. park, mm -hmm. which I gonna spend a lot 
Is it so you're like uh, thinking of a uh, basement parking Correct. for your cars. Yeah, which is not a very ideally uh, ideal for car showrooms. And so then have a small uh, small showroom. Exactly. So with that, I, oh my God, we make a mistake. We bought it. What should we do? <laughs> no. So the next moment, you know, I, 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 I start to do research how to solve this problem, yes. you know, because it's a living problem. So from there, I said, one day after you know, doing the research, I hey, why don't we go vertical? You know, vertical will solve the problem. Yes. So uh, from there, like, okay, let's try the vertical method. So we told the architect, architect say, you sure you're doing a, a high-rise high rise, uh, yes. showroom? I said, well, I'm not too sure, but I have no choice. I will have to think and innovate mm, yes. the ideas. Mm -hmm. So one day, I brought my son to Toys R Us. Okay. We we're walking to look for toys, yes. mm. and suddenly he stopped at the Matchbox cars uh, yeah. uh, uh, mm. display, and yes. he was choosing the car. So I was looking at that. I said, "Hey, this idea has been there for 40, 50 years and never changed. Yes, and mm. you can find the cars yes. so easily. Yes. You can even buy the whole thing, right? That's exactly, you can yes. buy the whole thing. So I was like, I'm in an IT business, so I said." I think I can do a nice programming and everything to, to synchronize everything mm -hmm. yes. and make it work. So I went back, I told my architect, I want to build the matchbox car and on top of that, I want to make it vending machines that one press of buttons, it will perform the rest of the things. All I need to do is to present the car like a, like a, like a fine dining, yes. you know, you serve yes. the food uh -huh. one at a time. Yes. Mm. So my architect said, well, if that's the case, we will plan for it. So we, we start to do. So did we, he did he uh, initially tell you that it is doable? He told me that Gary, that is a crazy idea. <laughs> <laughs> but but I said I have I have not much choice. Yes. And and on top of that, of course, uh, I mean, I pray hard and I, yes. I I plan hard that you know every things that we experience as uh, experience uh, car dealerships. What are the problem we face? We have to solve it in this innovation. Mm -hmm. So, we so you gave him the idea, and you asked him to design something yes. like uh, uh, a vending machine. Correct. Yeah. That will be used for your showroom. Ah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, and how long did it take him to come up with the, the uh, f with the design? Actually, the the design uh, we came up with the design probably about about four months, about four months time. To develop get, it, to develop it. We get the, the whole design concepts and all this uh, idea of the place. Mm -hmm. And space is a problem. So yes. we actually even further improvise the, the vending machines with mm -hmm. an with a elevator that can transfer our cars to the different floors. Uh -huh. So that was, that was something that it replaced my, my uh, car lift, you know, because yes. if not, it will take up another big footprint. So we actually improvise to yes. make it a little bit like multi-functions yeah. mm -hmm. now how long has it been working uh, about a year a bit earlier yeah. about a year now yes. already since, since uh, last year December because I'm, uh, I'm two, uh, sorry uh, a, a 2016. Year, 2016 December yes. yeah I'm really excited to see that in in its actual because I haven't seen it yes. yet though, Please, though you're, I, you're I, I, just, I just saw it in the video mm -hmm. and uh, I was like wondering how do you do this and how many cars do you have there now Right now, the, the, the footprint is about six, six cars. I have 60 cars on the, on the two towers, left and right. Okay, so you have 60 cars there, and the, the showroom that actually gives you the uh, total view of the car is uh, for six windows. No. Is that it? For 30 windows. 30 windows? 30 windows. Mm. All right, so and it moves around. Uh, so if in case I wanted to see like I wanted to see this model you have the list there and I'm going to press something there and yeah. the car will actually be in the display, show yeah. display yeah, yeah. like like a like oh, a launch yes. pad you know? yes, like, yes, exactly, yes, exactly. Yes, yes, like yes. a Batman movie you know yes. when he wants to choose for the Batman car yes. you press yes. the car will come out, out and, out. and uh, open up in a cave yes. yeah. does it like uh, move around or it goes in a it vehicle does, it does. It it's does. actually uh, uh, we, we actually make it like like you know, with, with oh. a bit of uh, turn tables okay. like, a, like a fashion show you know yes. okay but you can, can can you go inside it or you can, you're you can. just gonna view it from outside okay we, we figure out uh, psychologically when when somebody want to buy something yeah uh, the first appearance is like you can see but cannot touch, touch. 
you, you it enhance the Android lane yes. to, to buy. Okay. And then after, when you really want to buy, we press the button, the gate is open, you can go in and check the car. I yes. see. Yes. So, we are thinking. So you, you you don't have any like a sales agent anymore? Or? We still have, All but right. the sales agent job is getting easier, and uh, we also pair with uh, video content. Yes. That means when you see, let's say, a Mercedes, it will it will actually uh, stream a, a Mercedes that's related to this car. So it's kind of like self introduced mm -hmm. to you. On the car, so that from us as a salespeople, we further just reinforce the the the, the salesmanship to the. Do you the just customer. carry one particular brand of car? Or? So we are in a used car business, so yes. we we actually have a multiple of uh, many cars. Yeah. So these are uh, pre-owned. Pre pre these are yeah. used cars. So yeah. what kind of cars do you sell there? Uh, is it like SUVs or? Uh, uh, basically, the the design of our this uh, uh, vending machines, we can house almost every car mm -hmm. or any cars. Uh, uh, as small as a, a mini or a smart yes. car so smart. to as, as big as a Rolls Royce, uh, yeah. this uh, goes and all this, you know. And even a H3 Hummer Jeep can go in. So, so it's kind of, kind of pretty but, much but, but the concept, Kong Erin, the concept of uh, vending machine is yes. like you get a uh, probably a coin or a, a dollar bill you put it inside the vending machine and there goes your product correct yeah is it also something like that uh, uh, can I like uh, put my card, card in uh, or I have my cash or whatever it is or Bitcoin probably yeah. or whatever <laughs> whatever kind of currency I'm gonna use and then the car will just simply come out and I'm it's ready for me to drive uh, actually, it's, it's very possible, but right now it's still an uh, uh, in-process uh, uh, okay. procedure because uh, cars, the ticket, the ticket price is yes. still a little bit on the higher side. side. But however, as we all know, the e-wallet, the, the, the electronic payments, mm -hmm. the internet banking, mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, even the bitcoins and all this are getting very, very advanced. And uh, a lot of uh, credential check or all yes. these uh, things are, has been very improved. I don't see the reason why not. You know, it's very possible. I mean, a, a credit card can mm. now spend mm -hmm. like two, three hundred thousand, five hundred thousand. So it's very possible. But of course, uh, uh, it still need a little bit more time as a massive mm. uh, yes. solutions for that. But. But yes, I think it's very, very, very. So possible. you have many like uh, robotics there as well, and uh, some. Uh... Yes, that will be in our plan two and plan three. In future, we will even introduce robotic parkings. Yes. That means in future you have a very nice uh, reception room where you just park the car, mm -hmm. you get out of the room, and let the robotics do the job. Yeah. In in Gary, I don't know if you've been there. I, I was able to visit a. a place in Germany, I can't recall the town, uh, which has... The Volkswagen town? Yes. Yeah. And then they have this building where they have all the, the cars. The cars are displayed. The, the consumer has a choice whether to, to get the car in that plant sure. or in the dealer. And most of the time, since it's like a theme park, yeah. People ask that they get the car in the... Correct. It's, a, it's an experience. Uh, that, yes, that. The experience. Now, uh, you could see no, they they have so many cars, at least a hundred cars maybe, mm -hmm. yes. in the building, mm -hmm. and then you can see this machine mm -hmm. pull out the car, Correct, in like particular, cherry, cherry picking, yeah. yes, and yeah. bring it down yeah. mm -hmm. for the consumer to take, bring home. Correct, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's the same thing that it's you're doing here. It's same. it's just that the process of buying it is different. Yes. Correct, still. Correct, so correct, you can yeah. just like do whatever it is yes. that you're doing in Germany. It's, so it's more of like if I want to see this car, I can I can just like press uh, the button there, yes. and then the car shows up. It, it, it shows yes. up. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, uh, similar but different because yes. Volkswagen is Volkswagen. Yes. For us, we are just a, a, a <coughs> enterpriser, but we are making it uh, micro, but yet dynamic. You yes. know, a dynamic, yes. and uh, we actually able to serve many different cars. Yes. So so. 
So uh, that is the micro version of the, yes. the, the interesting. So you, do, you don't you don't sell brand new cars. No, no we do. We do. Uh -huh. uh, once in a while, we have uh, you know, uh, uh, imports uh, brand new cars yeah. to sell. Yeah. But how did it uh, how, how did it improve your sales? I mean, coming up with this kind of well, sometimes people will say crazy idea, crazy but you know, idea, but yeah. these crazy ideas really work. It works. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people are quite interested in the presentation. Sometimes even the food is not really that tasty, but if it is presented in a manner by right. which it is so appealing to the eyes. I, I totally agree with, yes. uh, with it because, uh, uh, in fact, there are many of my customers who, who knew just uh -huh. came, uh -huh. they actually said, hey, I heard about your place and I want to come and check out your place. Yes. And they came, they check out and then they suddenly, something. suddenly they have the They're already the intention to buy something. <laughs> so they said, do you have something like this? I said, let me show you. And when I showed them, they said, oh, that's the best experience to buy it. Yes. Buy it. And, uh -huh. and once the price is right, why not? You know, because, right, right, right. Uh, and you can always brag about uh, oh, I bought this in the vending machine. Yes. Exactly. Vending machine. And they do nowadays. We have selfie. We have yes. uh, Instagram. Yes. People, people do that. You know. So we are still growing ourselves and improving ourselves. To maybe in future we have an automatic uh, Instagram station or something. Like people think it's, it's like seamless. You know. Yeah. But it's still in the process. But we, we write on whatever technologies that's yeah. available. Uh, but yeah. you, have you confirmed it already that your vending machine, this car vending machine of yours, is mm -hmm. the largest so far in the world? So far, uh, the largest is not uh, being claimed by me. Uh -huh. But it's, it's the media that, that actually yes. did, did the search and all this. And uh -huh. they claim that it's, it's not the largest of the largest. I think the largest one will probably be the with the, the, box. the Volkswagen, but uh, that is not really a vending machine approach. Not. But mine is actually a vending machine yes. approach, and uh, uh, mine is actually uh, with interesting different different cars. Yes. So yeah, they, they but, call but, it uh, the, but have you thought of like uh, introducing this as well to the government? Because what I can see here is that if you have this kind of concept, that you put all these cars in a very small space. Yes. This would also actually help uh, the government in easing the parking problem that they have. Because yes. that's also one thing that we have in the Philippines. I mean, we, we have lots of cars. Yeah. Too but, much cars. But too much, uh, too too less much cars, cars you know? but no, not much of parking spaces. True, true, true. Uh, but did you, did you like uh, uh, toil fact, about the idea of uh, introducing this as a parking uh, a, a, a parking so, tool as well. Actually, we, we did uh, thought, thought about this, and in fact, uh, basing on some customers uh, that came to visit us from different countries, uh -huh. like places like Thailand and uh, uh, Indonesia, mm -hmm. uh, Philippines, uh, not yet, but, but we talked and we spoke, and I told them my plan is not just the vending machine concept. My plan is actually space management and make mm -hmm. it smart. Yes. You know, and, and, and things can manage in a smart way because we now are very inclined to phones, apps and all this. Uh, I realized one problem that even in China and in India, the same thing. <clears throat> old cities are getting very expensive and old cities are built with the design that, that they have four two ways uh, two two ways road yes. mm. to to serve the the, the the cities or the the land, uh, landscape around there but the problem is that as time goes by many cars are, are increased I mean, I mean like each officers last time used to have 200 cars now they need 500 cars you know mm -hmm. so what to do they start to have the roads as a mm -hmm. side road parkings and all this but would it so be you're nice? willing you're willing to collaborate with the government as well or uh, yes or uh, maybe different we actually uh, come out with the, as well. this new terms called uh, uh, we are crisis parking management consultants yeah. uh, all so, right, all so right. if there is a parking problem so we are happy to come and plan and design okay. something yes. that solves the parking problems and ease the traffic yes. because that's cool Every of us drives to work. I mean, the, the last thing you want to experience is looking for in the road that is 20 minutes for four hours or two hours, you know, yeah. How many percentage did it improve your sales? I mean, uh, for this, uh, uh, so for far, the past year? Our, our increase for last year is about 30%, about 30%. Not bad, not bad, yeah. not bad. 25, 30, yeah. 
It's not too bad, yeah. And how about the investment for this one? Is it that huge or uh, how are you going to compare it uh, if you're going to buy a property here in, in uh, Singapore, which is much bigger than the 800 square meters that you have, Correct, yeah. and uh, have it uh, uh, as your showroom as compared to like putting up this kind of vending machine of yours? Okay, actually uh, what, what we did is that uh, we, we built this place. Uh, we actually uh, tried to promote to the government mm -hmm. that because it's not my problems. I mean, any buildings yes. has a problem. In fact, I've been approached by a lot mm -hmm. of architects. They say that that is the nice way of presenting a building, yes. mm -hmm. that the cars can be more, and the, the traditional design of multi-story yes. car park All for right. a big building for the first three to five floors can be soft because it has been always a headache for architects when they come to a yeah. design of a big building they say it affects okay. the aesthetics of the exactly. building yeah. i have to put a 200 units officers how do i put the two 400 cars <laughs> it's gonna, in the it's building gonna, it's gonna eat up at least five stories of your building exactly or you go underground and if you go underground two more three expensive. levels super expensive I uh, think. Yeah, it's yeah, more yeah, expensive yeah. i mean going down yes. is more expensive yeah, yeah. so mm. so in a way you have saved money in doing this. Save money. Instead of like having this uh, uh, underground parking. Yes. And in the very near future, uh, we also come up with the smart parking solutions mm -hmm. whereby we can handle the charging charging stations yes. and all this, you know. So, so it's actually... You know, doing a good city, smart city planning solutions. Yes. Yeah. Well, congratulations, and uh, we are really, we are looking forward to seeing it in uh, real life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in Manila. <laughs> I, I, lo I love to see more of this happening. Maybe, Manila. maybe you can you can have your vending machine in Manila as well, so that yes, it will yes. be the model of uh, a parking space for uh, for for different malls yes. as well, yes, and if, if also for other private buildings. If you can leave me the way i'm happy to go there and experience it uh, sure <laughs> sure sure we're looking forward to seeing your auto uh, vending machine as thank well. you thank you so much thank for you. being with us thanks, uh, thanks for the invite mr thank gary you. hong well, owner of autobahn motors uh, while we are bleeding we'll give you back our <laughs> Oh, parang kailan ba tasa ng bayan dito? Balik sa tagalog. Balik mo na, magturo mo na namin to magtagalog.